You're looking at a parts list here for a hive bench. I'll take you quickly through what the pieces are. The two long rails are for the hive to sit on. The intermediate pieces, there's supposed to be three. There was an extra piece, so I made four, but they're the rungs to a ladder style uh, rest that the hive sits on. These two long pieces here hold the legs together and then the green pieces are the actual legs. So you see the parts list here, they're just simply a couple two by three boards. They're drilled accordingly to put some bolts in. Now let me show you what the finished product looks like. Here's another one over here that's assembled. Now this design was created and shown in a bee culture magazine. And then I updated it from the V-Blog design where they changed a couple of the dimensions. So it's a pretty simple device. It's just a couple rails with some guides. But the interesting thing is, it, this is a uh, hive with a bottom board on it. But the premise of this is when you're working on your hives, if you take a box off, Honey Super or a top brood box, instead of putting it down in the grass and having the bottom of the box which is covered with propolis sticking the grass or the dirt you put it on your hive bench and you could work on it the dimensions are pretty interesting though because it's made so that if you wanted to you could use it as a frame hanger and sometimes people will use these where they take all the frames out of a honey super and put them out in the yard and let them hang here and let the bees clean them up so here you see it in its stand where it's stood up. I'll fold it up in a second and show you what it looks like, but you can imagine those green legs fold up closed and it's small enough that you could probably fit it in a car or truck or whatever you want to transport. Now I have the makings of the second one here and I have two yards so I'm going to keep one in the yard here at the house and the other one over at my alternate bee yard. So here you can see what it looks like, folded up, it's pretty compact, and if you didn't want to use it for its intended purpose, you could actually use it as a hive stand if you were so inclined. And I made sure I painted it with primer, you see the kills sitting there, and then I used an enamel paint because I'm going to leave these outside and I wanted to have some durability. Now the one thing you might note is that these are 4 inch bolts. The way I did this is when you fold this out, this could tighten and this might be a little more difficult to open. You can see the paint is wet and it pulled it off, so I have to touch it up in a couple spots. I could put a second bolt on here and tighten the two of those together and allow this to spin freely and it won't come disconnected. That's why I chose the longer bolts there. So I'm looking forward to using this this season and see how it works out for me. It'll certainly be putting things in the grass and uh, pretty simple to build afternoon or a weekend project is what it turned out to be. Hope you enjoy the video.